Uh, now to a headache in Howell, where trains are repeatedly causing traffic backups, leading to frustrated drivers. The problem has been so bad that now city leaders and a congresswoman are looking into it. 7 News Detroit reporter Darren Cunningham is in Howell, where he's raising the voices of a local resident and a business owner about how they have been impacted. The last two or three months that they've been coming a little bit longer and longer. Before it was five minutes, ten minutes, now it's getting to be half hour to an hour. This train only took about two minutes, but I'm told it can be up to an hour long wait in traffic on Michigan Avenue in Howell. Usually between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. A train stops on the tracks blocking the crossing as train cars are being swapped out nearby. I um, actually sat <laughs> at the gas station and talked to the girl at the vegetable stand for like 45 minutes because I couldn't get home. Noel Inman lives right next to the tracks on the north side. I will see it sit on the tracks multiple times a day. It will stop. Sometimes it's been there for an hour. Blocking Michigan Avenue. Yes, people start getting very angry. And you can see the frustration of the people and every now and then a horn brigade starts. Steve McCoy, who owns Spartan Tire next to the south side of the tracks, says stalled trains occasionally impacts his business. Some of our techs, when they go for a test drive, they're on the north hand side of the tracks and then they get stuck over there for a half hour to an hour. So what is being done? The city of Howell working to improve matters. The city met with CSX Railroad on possible solutions to the crossing issues, including limiting the use of the siding and transfer tracks and providing shuttle vans for conductors who walk the length of the train to perform inspections. That's expected to cut delays by 15 minutes and enforcing a federal rule that requires train cars stop short of blocking crossings if they're going to be stalled for long periods of time. Also, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin's office says it is working with the Federal Railroad Administration. People are trying to go to work or they're on lunch hour and or they're you know trying to get home and they can't. I reached out to the Great Lakes Central Railroad and CSX. CSX got back to me and said in a statement, CSX strives to be a good neighbor to communities where we operate and we work hard to minimize the impact of our operations. We understand there are challenges that exist in Howell and we apologize for the inconvenience that stopped trains may cause the local community. CSX is reviewing our operations in the area to determine any potential improvements that can be made, while also keeping an open line of communication with community leaders and first responders." In Howell, Darren Cunningham, 7 News Detroit. All right, Darren, thank you.